Hey guys, today I'm doing my most requested video. I don't know why this is my most requested video, but it is the What's on My iPad video. I have an iPad Air 2 in white. Um, white and silver is the back. I have fingerprints all over it, so just don't mind that. Um, but I'm going to try to take you through everything that I have. Hopefully you guys will like some stuff. And if you guys have any cool apps that you guys think that I would be interested in, please comment below and so we can have the same apps. Okay, so let's get started. So right now we're looking at my lock screen, and then on my first page I don't have any folders, but on the second page I do have folders, I just think it's more visually appealing that way. So the first app is my Pandora app, that's just, you know, music playlists and whatever. Second app is my daily water app where you track your water. Um, I'm obviously not tracking my water right now, nor do I drink enough water, but it's there, so it's for good reason. So the third app is my Evernote app, which is where you, like, keep different notebooks and stuff, so I usually keep, like, my pageant stuff in there, and, you know, you just organize, like, different projects and whatever. And then the next app is my paper app, which is really cool because you can draw on it, and I really love that. I think it's really interesting. I just like to draw things or plan things out or sketch things, whatever I feel like doing kind of at the moment. That's just what I do. The next app is my Nook app, and I will show you the books that I'm in the middle of right now. The Power, Bobby Brown Makeup Manual, um, Etsypreneurship, a whole bunch of them. Then I have my Bible app, which I read every morning. And then I have my TED Talks app, which is a really cool app about different videos and different ideas. Um, and you can look up, look up pretty much like any topic, whatever you want. It's really cool. They have a bunch of different videos on it, and you learn a lot. And yeah, I think it's really interesting. The next app is my iTunes University app, which I usually tend to download a lot of psychology things on there. I think that's pretty fascinating, but you can look up any different topic that you want and take like free courses. They're like free college courses that you take and you just learn a bunch of stuff. The next app is my full screen app, which I won't show you because that's my network that I'm partnered with with YouTube. And then the next app is my blog loving app, which I have all of the blogs that I follow. And there's my blog. Um, all of the blogs that I follow are on here. So it's in one feed. That way I don't have to go to a million different websites to look at people's blogs that I like to look at every day. Then I have my calendar app, which I only keep my um, YouTube schedule in there. I don't keep anything else in there. Notes is self-explanatory. I keep like quotes and stuff. Then I have my Etsy sell app and now I'm on the Poshmark app which is where I sell some of my Etsy stuff as well and some things from my closet. So you can follow me there at April Marishik and that's pretty fun. You just shop. <laughs> then I have my eBay app which I also sell some of my stuff on from my store. Then Pinterest which is self-explanatory. I love Pinterest. Pinterest just excites me. Um, I don't know. I just, I always have to go on Pinterest every single morning. It just makes me happy and sets my day right. Then YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, and Blogger, because that's what I use for my blog. Then at the bottom I have Reminders, Mail, Safari, and Twitter, because those I use most often. Then I have my Lifestyle folder with Winello, Etsy, Wish, ShopStyle, and Sephora. So these are pretty much all of my shopping apps. I know I have the Sell on Etsy app, but the regular Etsy app allows you to shop. Then for my Entertainment folder, I have Hulu Plus and Optimum. I don't have Netflix on there because I use that only on my Xbox One. Then for books, I have Kindle, iBooks, Newsstand, and Flipboard, but I tend to use the Nook more often. That's why it's on my front page. And then for social apps, I have FaceTime, Messenger, Skype, Snapchat, Messages, and LinkedIn, which I try to keep my notifications off for because that gets really annoying. Then for photography, I have ViscoCam, Square Ready, Photos, Camera, and Photo Booth. And then for education, I have Curious and Duolingo, which are really cool apps to learn either different languages or pretty much anything on the Curious app. For games, I have mm Fingers, I have the Game Center app, Monopoly, Dumb Ways to Die 2, um... Epic Citadel, which I don't know how to play, Game for Cats, which is literally for my cat, Flow Free, The Sims, and this really cool outer space game, which is kind of dorky, but it's a lot of fun. For extras, I just have tips, podcasts, music, iTunes store, videos, contacts, maps, app store, and settings. And then for lifestyle, I just have like two relaxing sound things, you know, to go to sleep with. Then I have my Epicurious app, the Food Network app, my Calculator app. Then I have Mint, Clock, Bamboo Paper, the Miss World app, the Howz app, Pages, Pre-Template, and the Weather Channel app. Uh, Pre-Template is for like fashion design stuff, so that's pretty cool if you want to look into that. And that's pretty much it.